Hey, 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 what up, Gemini? Welcome, family. Cross watchers, everyone here is welcome and loved. Um, I'm here to do a reading for, you know, my G -G Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, vibe cross watchers. Everyone here is loved and welcome. Thank you for joining me. I love you so much. Sending you so much healing, love, abundant vibes to each and every one of you. And it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher, or no one. So just take what fits and the rest leave behind. All right, choir, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, magic and collective. Check the sound and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Okay. Um, I was going. I'm gonna do a love reading now, but you know it's new moon, and as I'm reading, so so I keep feeling somebody is. Doing something on you, Gemini, spiritually attacking you, assassinating your character, someone that you would least expect that has, because I, I did say a false prophet. Um, so someone that seems holier than thou, that's actually literally doing magic on you. And I say that because we have this spiritual altar. So someone has you on some type of spiritual altar, Gemini, or maybe you just have a spiritual altar where you're giving um, offerings up to your ancestors, the highest white light, pure love only. Um, some of you guys are setting up money. Um, altars, doing money spells. Um, this is the new moon, so you're setting those intentions to overcome those obstacles. FYI, someone got punched in the face today. Okay, that's one obstacle. So someone had you on an altar, Gemini, and they got punched in the face for having you on an altar. Okay, spirit, the ancestors did it. The ancestors did it. Here he come. Ancestors right here. Protect you. Oh, shit. Um, the ancestors stepped in and punched somebody in the face, okay? Um, they told, they yeah, give that hoe back to the street. So this is someone that is desolate. This is woundy, honey. So woundy done got you on an altar, baby. And ancestors had to slap that ass. Slap that or bust it or something they had to do. They did some damage control and gave this person a reality check. This person is in poverty. They're not doing well. Because every time I see this, it's like someone's struggling only people that are struggling do this type of thing. You know what I mean? They got a sign talking about pop star therapy, $100. Like, so they need some type of, they have a mental blockage. They have a mental issue and they need a reality check. And the ancestors had to step in to give this person a reality check to let them know, you know, you for the street. So I don't know what they've done. This person was talking shit about you behind your back because one of the first cards I saw was character assassination. For some of these people... You escaped a bullet, okay? Because overcoming obstacles, and then we have buy bitch, and then protect your shit, and then damage control. So I do feel this person's, yeah, the way he looking at me and shit like that. So there is an undercover cop somewhere. I don't know why I keep getting that. I heard that, okay? There's undercover police involved somewhere. So your person is connected to some type of crooked cop. And now something then came out because I did a reading that somebody got caught up in the legal system for looking for you or something, Gemini. And now they're trying to do damage control. Something. What happened, spirit? Yeah, you're a trendsetter. So whatever you do, somebody's angry that people look up to you. You want a spotlight. You somewhere where people can look at you. Um, you set trends. Some of you are fashion models and you have beautiful physiques. People are jealous of the way that you look, the way that you move. Some of you are master seamstress. Okay, um, some of you guys need to protect your patent and your creative ideas. That's what Spirit's telling me. Some of you are actually, um, for those of you who are, because there is a fashion week going on somewhere in the world. So you're a part of that. And some of you have created your own, uh, Jesus, I, I'm hearing you're very talented. Okay, so some of you, you created your fashion lines and, and, and you guys have created, I don't know. But anyway, Spirit. Okay, so some of you work from home. 
A lot of you who started a home-based business, and some of you have animals and things like that, cute little puppies and dogs that love you and never leave your side. Aww. And they are your protectors. So some of your spirit, your animals are your like familiar spirits, your protectors, your guides, okay? They are actually shielding and they're taking a lot of the um the attack. Oh no. Oh baby. You guys, okay, and I know, I know, I know. But honestly, um, you guys have to protect your babies, okay? Protect your spiritual guides. If you guys can start doing some spiritual baths, salt baths, candle healing, meditation, you know, reach out to the ancestors because they're always here. They're ready for you because they done slapped somebody in the face for you. Ha, <laughs> they did. And you were able to escape something, you know, before it went down. But um, your animal is taking a, a lot of the spiritual attacks because they're protecting you and spirit's telling you to protect your babies, okay? Protect your babies. Because some of them, if your animal is sick or something or they're not doing good, I don't know, something that is in the spirit realm, they're protecting you from the attacks and some of you don't even know it. But I'm telling you, so keep an eye on your baby. Okay, that is your protector, that is your familiar, but who if you don't protect them, who's going to protect if they if you don't protect them? Wait, while while they're protecting you, who's going to protect them? Thank you, spirit. While your animals and your babies and your cats and your dogs and your animals and your birds and stuff, while they're protecting you spiritually, who's going to protect them? So protect up your protection. Okay, if you want to put a black onyx, you know, necklace or something, um I'm hearing selenite, you know, the liquid, the liquid, um, light, um, crystal, something. I have a selenite right here. This is liquid. This is liquid light, like angelic light. This is protection. Actually, this is the only stone that doesn't need to be charged. Um, and because it's that high vibrational, this one, I have a major, a, a very large one over in the corner somewhere and somewhere. It's on my actually lamps, like my, uh, lamp stand. So I, when I get done with my beads and my crystals and things like that, sometimes instead of the, the moonlight or the sunlight, I can use one of these selenites and leave it on and then they're recharged again, okay? Remember, always reset your intentions and your crystals uh, for them, you know, to do what you need them to do. So, um, Marama, um, what else, spirit? Pure prophetic messages. That's what's up. Somebody wants you to shut the hell up. That's what's number one. And they conjuring up spirits because you're on the right path. You're exposing motherfuckers. You are. You're, you're speaking the truth. And somebody got you on a spiritual altar for you to stop speaking the truth. Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watcher, or whoever. Yeah, because you're a you're, whatever you're doing, you're blowing up and you're applying pressure. You're making these people nervous. When you expose people, it makes them nervous. Oh my God, you're exposing their risky behaviors if they're doing illegal activities. So some of you guys are prophet, prophetic um, messengers, tarot readers, teachers, spiritual gurus, whatever it is, you get your source, your substance, and your downloads from the Holy Spirit, which is truth because God is not an author of confusion. So you are getting these downloads and you're speaking the truth. Whatever you're doing, you're on the right path. Keep doing it because you have major accomplishments ahead and these people know it and you're applying pressure. Whatever you're doing, you're applying pressure. Spirit says some of you watch out for your blood pressure. Some of you check your blood pressure. Some of y'all doing a little bit too much. Okay. You guys take care of yourselves, please. Um, stay hydrated. Watch what you eat. Stay away. I'm not a doctor and I'm, I'm just care. I just love you guys. Okay. When I, when Spirit's telling me someone's suffering from high blood pressure up here. Okay, watch and be careful of that because you can have a stroke or a heart attack, okay? And we don't want you to, to have any of those health issues, okay? So whatever's going on is risky business. So whatever you're eating or doing is risky business. Maybe some of you guys are stressed out about work or trying to get this um, a contract together and you're stressing out about a contract. Like if you don't get it, it's calm down. You're on the right path, okay? You're protected. Just keep moving forward. Take a deep breath and live in the now. Stop thinking about the worst case scenario, okay? Because when you think about the worst case scenario, that's exactly what's going to come out. So you're exposing people. You're telling all their business, telling all their secrets. They trying to go back to the grave site, trying to conjure up spirits and shit, child. And the spirit, oh my God, that is the guts. These spirits that they're sending to you, 
they're like part of your tribe. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I'm not mad at I mean, that's a blessing. Like you have authority over these demons that they're sending to you, Gemini, is what I said. Okay, so when they got to you, it could be a monitoring spirit. Don't have to be. But I am getting monitoring spirits. So if you guys are seeing praying mantises, especially brown ones, by your, because uh, some, some faiths believe, you know, I feel that praying mantis, if a green one, I see a green one, that's heart chakra, that's life, that's peace. That's joy. That's money. That's a good sign. A good almond. Every lane, every culture has different things, but I'm go off of my intuition. But when you see a brown one, brown is like no. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. And it could be good. I don't know. But I don't get a good energy from a brown praying mantis. Some of y'all might be seeing some of those, and they have condolos. That's a monitoring spirit. Now spirits. Now I don't know if you're gonna kill it or what. I'm not going to tell you to kill it or not, okay? If it's a monitoring spirit, all they, all they can do is just go transfer into another vessel. So it doesn't need to be that particular praying mantis, if that's making sense. Oh, okay, so whoever this is, Gemini, this could be a family member or a friend or a lover. It could be all three of them. There's several people that are attacking you that are jealous of you because you're starting a successful home-based business. You're on the right path, so you're on your... Your, your your um your journey to your your divinity so you're on the right path and like i said a lot of your animals are protecting you from the damage that is um, being projected towards you so you guys start using your powers of words okay returning to sender okay i am protected you know what i mean start calling it out and feeling it out and like just let it be because I'm telling you, I feel that sometimes your animal's looking at me like, help me, thank you, thank you for telling them because it looks like you're not even paying any attention. You see how you're in your computer doing your own thing and the animal's like, oh, please help me, mommy, help me. Well, help the baby, okay? Um, Some of you guys have been feeling headaches or your blood pressure has been affected or whatever the case may be. It could be worse. Some of you could have had a stroke or a heart attack, but your animal has taken the brunt of that attack. <sighs> okay, so that's what I, I, this is more for the animal. I'm all about the animal lover, okay? Your baby is suffering right now for some of them. If they're acting weird, like some of them have them here in diarrhea, okay? Loose bowels and things like that. Some of them are having stomach problems, okay? Um, because they're absorbing that negative energy that's being projected towards you from whatever's being sent to you, Gemini, okay? Um, someone who, yeah. And it is someone that you're familiar with. Whoever this energy that's attacking you, then they could be a sister, they could be an auntie. They could be an ex-lover, okay? And they're angry with you when they sent the spirits because you said, bye, bitch. And I didn't say it. They said it. See? Bye, bitch. That's what you said. You gave them per this person a reality check because they thought that you would never leave them behind. So they did something risky. They took a gamble that pretty much tried to stop you from moving forward. And then the ancestors had to get involved. So tell us more, Spirit. Yeah, this person is confused about their sexuality. They're mad at you because they really want to be you. So if this is a man, he's jealous of you. If you're a female, he wants to be you. He's confused about his sexuality, so he might be a gay man. And shout out to my LBGTQIA community. Did I say it right? But you know I got love for you, okay? So don't trip. Shit. Um... He don't know. So if you, if he, 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 I don't know. He's confused, baby. Okay. He don't know if he is transgender or gay or whatever the case may be. He's still trying to figure himself out. He mad at you because you're quite sure of who you are. Okay. You call motherfuckers out on the bullshit. They don't like that. And they want to be you. Okay. They feel like they own you with this possessive behavior. Okay. Um... Yeah, they don't like you. They don't like what you do. So they've been talking to the streets. This person is for the streets right now. Okay, they really are. They've been visiting a motherfucking um, botanica. They have down the street somewhere, downtown somewhere, mm, to stop you from getting your ill got. Well, they think that you got your money ill gottenly. This person gets their money ill gottenly. They're an extremely low vibrational creature. And they have ran into blockages. Oh, my God. This is too much. I'm sorry. I'm getting bourbon now. Look. Because when I seen the, seren the serenity scheme with the prophetess, 
child. Some of these people try to lie on you and set you up, talk shit about you, say things they weren't true to cause people from working with you and causing you blockages and shit like that. Starting a whole ruckus. Tell the spirit, what is going on? What is going on with this person, these people, places, and things? Yeah. Queen of Swords, look, there you come, Gemini. And these people are feeling foolish because they tried to keep you stuck, Gemini. This is trying to keep somebody stuck, taking a leap of faith, feeling foolish. This is risky business. Someone took a risky business and ended up imbalancing themselves, causing blockages for, for themselves, Gemini. Now, this could be you, but they tried to do this to you. That's what they tried to do. What else, spirit? Who is this? Is this a family? Yeah, you're, I don't know. It is a two of cups energy. Two of cups does not have to be like a, a, a love. It could be like. A auntie, a cousin, a sister, mother, brother, best friend. Yeah. Someone tried to do money. Oh, my God. They tried to stop your will from moving forward because they want your crown. So now this person's gotten caught up. What did they get caught up for, Spirit? Tell me. Oh, they got a tower. So they're experiencing a tower right now. Yeah. And now they're feeling wounded. I cannot make it up. Look, because they've been exposed, Gemini. And here they come. Here they come. With this magical shit. See, I don't. I wouldn't trust this motherfucker. I, look, I can't. And then right behind is the magician. These people been working on you, Gemini. I don't know who the hell this is. Family, friend, or foe. Co-worker. Don't, I mean, it could be anybody. Whoever it is is from your past. That's petty. And they're low vibrational. Yeah, they're doing magic on you to stop your forward moving to cause towers to you because they're mad at you because you're a trendsetter. But whatever they did, it was risky business and that shit backfired. So now it's like, you they know you the real deal. Oh, they got a reality check. That's for sure. They definitely got a reality check because whatever said they sent to you popped right back on their ass. And you ought to hear Gemini. Oh, yeah. And what else, spirit? Oh, they under judgment now. They under judgment. Judgment's been called on this person. Spirit, who is this? Who is this? So who is this energy? Another air sign? I saw air come out. Hold on. Another air sign that does things too quick. They don't think. They're very impulsive. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio as well. They could have that in their chart. Oh, my God. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. It is a Queen of Wands energy. Definitely a Queen of Wands energy. So what is going on with this Queen of Wands family member, friend, or lover? Why are they doing magic on Gemini again? Um, this is a new moon. So this is the intentions that have been set. But no, they've been blocked, okay? Didn't I say? Look, this is their intention. I'm hearing family member. Who is this family member? Because they want to put you in this energy, Gemini. This is your family wanting, wanting you being backstabbed and betrayed. So they're working with other people, possibly another high priestess, okay? This 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 king of uh, wands, I mean, queen of wands is a high priestess themselves, and they want to backstab and betray you. They want to shut you up, okay? They mad at you. They want you heavily burdened. They want you stressed out. So they've been going to people doing work on you. Yep. Lying to the people as well. Because if the people know that you was this earth angel, they would never attack you. They wouldn't. But see, if it's a smart light work, I mean, if it's smart, um, if it's a smart practitioner, they would do a quick reading. And the reading would tell them immediately if they were to move forward or not, whether the person lied to them or not. Yeah. What is this ace over here, spirit? They try to do work on, okay, this person, this got to be a love. This could be a jealous best friend, ex-best friend, very extremely jealous female or male in his bitch ass energy, or it is a ex-lover who is angry and trying to prevent new love coming towards you because they're stressed out. They're stressed out that you see them for who they are. They've caused some type of tower. So now they're going to some type of practitioner trying to block your new beginnings or your money or something, Gemini, to get people to come and walk away from you. I don't know. What else, Spirit? Mm, a cancer. Wanting to keep you stuck. Wow. Who is this person? And now it's a female. She's in her masculine energy. And if it's a male, he's in his feminine energy. It's, either way, it's no bueno. Tell us more about this family member, spirit, or lover. 
Tell us more about this family member or lover. Why are they trying? I, I don't understand. It's somebody you cut out. It is a family. Okay, somebody you just recently ghosted, actually. Because the Herman, they could be a Virgo energy, but someone that you cut out of your family, okay? You don't talk to them anymore. There's a lot of emotions between you and this person that are unsettled in a sense. Yeah, there's no, you don't want to invest somebody you kicked to the curb. You found something out, Gemini. So if it's a family member, something was exposed, you feel this family member is a liar. You did some type of investigation, found out some shit that left you feeling some kind of way. Okay, well, maybe they tried to take some type of inheritance from you and hide it from you. Okay, I'm hearing some of them. Some of these, I don't know, I'm hearing either specifically an uncle or an aunt had removed your name out of a will. They removed your name out of a will. Mm, mm, mm. A Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio did it. So it could be an Aries energy. That's why that Aries didn't want me to... Sh yeah, somebody, the Emperor, is he up here? What? The Fool is Aries. So it could be an Aries being very foolish too. So either an Aries or a Scorpio or Sagittarius, Cancer, energy, wrote you... I don't know. So if this is it. For some of you, not for everybody, just only take the energies because everybody is not going through all of this, okay? For those of you who are experiencing going through challenges as far as a will is concerned... It's possible that some family members have removed your name out of a will and they're doing black magic to keep you blinded in a sense or keep you stuck or stagnated or keep you blind from seeing the truth. So they're doing black magic on you, okay? These motherfuckers is in cahoots together. They getting a reality check right now and I feel these family members have been doing this magic on you for over 10 years. Over 10 years. Maybe you realize, yeah, your life has been hard these last 10 years or more, possibly for some of you, all your life. And then just now recently, you've gotten a break. You've been manifesting your own life. These people are all in their head about it because that's part of the spell work that lets them know that the spell work's not working anymore. Child, yeah, they get in towers because whatever they did, honey, whatever they did, because they see you leaving. The, the spell has no hold over you at all, Okay. So now they're panicking, scrambling, scratching, and surviving good times. Yeah, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, definitely. Emperor energy then showed up with this Aries. Okay. Because mm. they want control. They were trying to control you the whole time. You didn't realize these people are not your family. This is not your family. This is not your family. Your family is some fake bitches. And they shadow side trying to keep you in a confusion and an illusion from this family will, family contract, happiness, whatever. They don't want you to. Yeah. Spirit saying then they, they did some fraudulent shit. I don't know. Whoever this is, I need you to do some investigation. Maybe you need to hire a PI because the Virgo did come up. You're going to find out these motherfuckers are stealing some shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, see, look, mm -hmm. they're going to expose them and they are not going to, oh, honey, they're not, look, what is this spirit? What is this? Oh, yeah, they did this for money. They stole your money, Gemini. They stole your money, and some of these people are facing bad karma, bad health. So even if you don't know, just look at the life that these people are living, okay? If they could be sick, having financial problems, whatever the case may be, just watch out. Some of these people are going to try to reach out to you on this new moon, okay, because they want to communicate with you. So this spell work can work because this is the first card that came up. Okay, so if you realize, take listen to a pattern. If you have estranged family members, friends, lovers, exes, whatever, reaching out to you on odd moon cycles, block their ass because they ain't up to no good. It's up here. Okay, there's some people have, yeah, some of them you have a baby by them. Some of them want to get you pregnant. So if this is an old love, they want to get you pregnant. They want to hold on to you. They, they, they fucked up. They went to know that whatever they said to you, there's no more beginnings. There's no more investments. And honestly, this person was gay anyway. They was confused about their sexuality. They didn't like you like you thought that they liked you. It was just all for money and to use you. Yeah, pretty much. Like I say, there's nothing wrong with being who you are. Just be honest. Just be honest about it, okay? We're all unique and different and loving in our own little ways. But the, when it goes wrong is when you're not living in your truth and you're lying and being deceptive, trying to make people, give the other people a chance to make the decisions for their life, okay? 
Look at, but I don't want to know. No, no, own it. Own it. Be who you are. Let them say, if I don't want to be with anybody bisexual, that's fine. You, there's all these people in the world that are okay with it. So go be with someone that, you know what I mean? Don't try to force and trick and lie. Okay. Let people have their own right and their own choices to make. Don't try to force and lie and swindle and black side and shadow side your way into somebody's life like that. That's, it's going to end up when it starts off wrong and ends off wrong. And this is why this whole situation ended off wrong because people lied about it. Okay, so this is a love. This lover lied about everything, about their sexuality, about moving forward, about being with you if it's a family member. So if, for instance, if a family member's passed away, I'm just feeling someone has not told you that you were left in some type of will, especially, yeah, you were, you were left in a will, this generational wealth. And your family members kind of did some trickery, fraudulent shit. They, you're owed something. But don't worry because ancestors is protecting your shit. And they're going to get karma so fucking hard. So if something happens to these people, don't feel bad for them. Because they're under judgment right now. God see y'all. God is not happy and God is not pleased. If they wondering why they life is fucked up, that, well, this is why. You know? And if something ends up happening to them, oh, well, it is what it is at the end of the day. The death is, did show up some type of way. So some of these people might be passing away. They might get a, some type of ailment. God letting them know he ain't playing with their ass. And it is what it is. What else, Spirit? How are we going to end this? So, yeah, somebody's doing magic on you, Gemini. Yep, they're trying to take away your independence because you're single and you're abundant and you're happy and successful. They didn't want you like this. They wanted you all piss poor, broke, and struggling. Some of these people wanted you sleeping on the motherfucking beach bench if you guys live near a beach. Or if you don't have to live near a beach, they just want you on a bench or on the street or on the curb some damn where. What else, spirit? What else? They want to they wanna ask you for forgiveness, child. They want to reconcile and ask you for forgiveness to stop this tower. But no, Spirit says, no, this is their fucking justice. You let them fucking burn, baby, burn. You hear me? And This is what they get. They should have left you alone in the first place. And they shouldn't have fucked with you and stole from you and been deceptive and sneaky and lying and shit. So that's their karma. They get this. While they try to keep you here, they get this. So, Gemini, I'm going to end your reading right there. Y'all stay protected, highly favored, blessed. There's nothing to worry about. Just be aware and move forward and protect yourselves and make sure your babies are protected too because they are def defending you and taking the brunt of these negative energies, okay? And with that, I'm going to end it. Love you. Bye.